Hey, what's up everybody? This is Raptor Dad Gaming, and in this video, I want to go over a really cool DCS mod called Reshader, and it just enhances the look of the game exponentially. So, let's get started. First, you go to the user files on the main webpage, type in Reshade, and then press download. Once you do, you can do a search for it. Of course, it'd be likely in your download folder. Uh, mine's is elsewhere, so I just type it in in the search menu. You'll unzip it. It'll become a file just like this. Make sure you click the DivX there. It's not gonna show up on one of the games. So you have to go into your actual installation location. Uh, make sure you, it's in the bin file and then you double click on the game itself. From there, make sure you click on that middle one there as I mentioned before. Um, if you're newly installing it, it'll say install and it'll let you select which mod you, or mod packages essentially you want to install. Uh, you can see which ones I select here. If you want to, you can go ahead and select all of them. It does not impact the game really, like, at all from what I've seen. Um, I did go ahead and select all of them at one point just for the heck of it, but I didn't understand half of them. I'm not super, you know, tech guru slash very knowledgeable in all things visual, so. I did a couple things here and there. And I thought it was pretty cool. So these are the ones that I selected, as well as there's actually one that comes with it called the Real 2.7, and it's a preset for you. So let's get it cranked up and let's see how it actually impacts the game. Uh, once you install it, it might take a little bit longer than normal when you first run the game, but when you do it correctly, you see up there in the top left corner, it's got the reshader kind of running in the background there, and you know that you've done it right. So we're going to do a quick mission editor flight just to show you what all it looks like. Super easy interface. Press the home key. It'll actually give you a tutorial when you first open it up. It's like, hey, do you want to learn how to use all these different features? It's really user friendly, super intuitive, and I can't speak volumes enough to it. I can't speak enough to it essentially how much it affects the game. So here you see that real 2.7 preset I was telling you about. But I started doing some experimenting on my own, and I really like this HDR set. I mean, look at that. You see how much the contrast and the colors really pop with that. I think that's high dynamic resolution. So, I mean, holy freaking crap. Again, the, really, the one thing I want to emphasize is this does not hit your FPS at all. So, go ahead and experiment. And uh, let's say you're like me, when you start mashing buttons, you're like, holy freaking crap, I screwed up! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! This looks freaking cool. Oh no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It got this really cool reset the default button. You just click that and then you're back to where your normal settings were. So again, they really took the time to make this mod user friendly for those of us that you know, aren't super versed on all this stuff. Um, you can scroll down, increase the other values as you want to. Super easy to click on and off. So we kind of shut up here for a little bit and you just see how it affects the gameplay. And you can create some really cool cinematic effects. So, uh, we go here, start messing around with some other things. The comic feature is pretty cool, along with some other ones. I have no idea what the heck that was. <laughs> so, if anybody happens to find out what all that stuff is, sure, drop it in the comments and let us know what setups you come up with. Uh, you see, you've got the border here, the cinematic border, along with the other effect, and this looks pretty righteous. I thought it was pretty cool, so I decided to go ahead and capture this. And we'll fly by, of course, and zoom in on the normal. Pitch up here, and hook down. F4 view. Again, no impact to the gameplay, no impact to your FPS. It literally just changes how the game is presented. Obligatory aileron roll because, you know, why not? So next, we're going to go to multiplayer. We had the question, does it pass integrity check? And absolutely it does. Yes, yes it does. Uh, just to prove it even further, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the lobby here, or server rather. 
and I'm gonna not actually fly around, but you know, just get a sortie going. Uh, literally just sit on the tarmac so you can actually see it, actually on the carrier. So you can see that it works just fine. Um, bottom, the way I understand it, I believe they explain it in the README file a little bit better. It doesn't actually mod, or it doesn't break the game essentially. You know, I don't really know how to say it any better. Like I said, it's probably just better said in the README file. But basically, you may have to reinstall it if there's an update to the game. But it does not break integrity, so I'm good to go. Um, I'll go ahead and select the Tomcat here. Bleep. And literally, just jump in the uh, cockpit here. I'm not going to actually take off or anything else, just to show you that it works as advertised. Okay, and here we are. We're on the deck, and no issues whatsoever. So we're good to go here. Lastly, VR. So, I saw in the comments on the Facebook post, one person said that it does help out with the sharpness. I've got a Quest 2, and unfortunately, I didn't really see that. You can see what all I select here, and it should enhance the sharpness of the image, but I don't see any of this stuff inside of the actual headset. So. I do a couple things here. I go with the default settings, you know, the shader that I had before. I go with the 2.7. I'm not seeing the menu inside the headset. I've, I've got a Quest 2. I'm not sure if I said that, but I've got a Quest 2. So maybe um, different effects with different headsets. Who knows? But you can see it on the mirror, but inside the actual headset itself, I didn't notice any differences. So. I don't really know what to say about that other than bottom line for the Quest 2 it didn't seem like it helped it at all. Um, I decided to go through select a couple more settings just to see if they you know the border didn't happen didn't notice anything else here the high dynamic resolution no change whatsoever so I don't know maybe it's different for each headset um, but that's gonna do it for this video here if you found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll definitely keep the content flowing. Raptor Dead Gaming out. Thanks for watching.